Aquarius family, welcome to your May uh, monthly check-in, reading, guidance. So I already said my prayer so we can actually just get started. I already have some decks that I was called to. Um, I have the Archangel Michael deck, the Fortune Reading deck, Monology, the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, and the Surrender deck so far. <laughs> I know that's a lot, but this is what I was guided to. So um, let's just go. I want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you to everyone that likes, shares, subscribes, that schedules readings with me. That um, Wow, Aquarius, that schedules readings with me, that um, sends decks, <clears throat> sends gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that comments below, clicks, likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, thank you, fam. Every single time you do that helps the message to reach more people. It's how we can support each other. It's how our community grows, how you can support me. I appreciate you all. All right. So um, thank you, everyone, for your patience. I had um, a mouth surgery. <laughs> That's what they're calling it um, the other day. So I have been in pain. Um, but I am um, moving slowly into starting the May readings, as you can see. Look at that. The sun is out. Speaking of the sun, I was sitting under the sun today. And I, I live in Texas, so it gets pretty hot here pretty fast. And we're not even in summer yet, and I couldn't even be out there for long. So it's going to be that time where if we're going to go for any kind of walk and connecting with nature, it's early in the morning or later in the evening kind of energy. <laughs> So, um, but the sun is here. The sun is out. Okay. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead today. The energy came out saying you're blossoming, whatever you're starting to do, whether it's a new relationship or a project, it's blossoming. You're just getting started. So have patience with yourself in the process. So, all right. What is the message here for May? We have a, we split the deck to proposal. This could just be an offering for some of you guys. It is an actual proposal that's going to make you very happy here. Okay. The sun is out for those of you guys. It's just an offer, right? The beginning stages of something here, whether business or romantic. So love has been in the air for Aquarius for a while. Some of you guys are starting, you know, new relationships here. Okay. For some of you guys, there's somebody in your life that you already know that is, um, you know, showing up in your life in a new form. Um, yeah, something, I, I don't even need to shuffle, keep shuffling this, uh, celebrations. You are ready to bring new and exciting something to celebrate here very soon. For some of you guys, it is a proposal. So this is from, from, for May for Aquarius, uh, spirit, please. For May, we have whole, yes, that, you know, that's exactly, I talked about this from this deck, the marriage and the wish, your, your heart's desires getting ready to come true came out for Instagram this morning. And um, it's already in the ethers. It's already in the energy. It's just a matter of time before it grounds. Okay. Hold your vision here. Fixed energy. That's your energy. So without attachment, right? This is having the confidence, having certainty, having the confidence, having certainty, not having any doubt that what, you know, and preparing for it, right? Believing without a shadow of a doubt, having so much faith in your vision and your goals, you know, and then you're just allowing yourself to flow intuitively, taking one day at a time, one step at a time towards it. You're being guided. So this is really trusting the universe, that the universe is going to, you know, deliver, right? Because the universe has your back. There's a new start. The sun, my goodness, Aquarius, hold your vision in a new start. All right, that's the energy. Wow, under that, we have luck is on your side for this new romantic cycle that's starting for you guys. Under that, we have have faith in your dreams, okay? Because there's going to be a powerful change here uh, in your love life, in your career, in every area of your life. Luck is on your side. We have Libra energy, Sagittarius here already showing up. It's a lucky time for this new cycle in love and cycle, new, new start in every area of your life. You can feel it, Aquarius. Okay, you can feel it. You can sense it. All your hard work is paying off. Staying committed here to the goal. Wow. Very nice. Staying committed. Okay. Let's make more room. What is Aquarius surrendering in May? What's Aquarius surrendering? You finally, you can finally relax 
and feel peaceful. This year, surrendering here, the um, you surrendering to the renewal of the present moment and releasing any kind of emotional upheaval. You can feel safe. You can relax. Uh, for some of you guys, whatever risk or chance that you want to take on something or someone, it's, uh, you know, it's a blessed time now to do that. I'm seeing that things are balancing out in your life when it comes to love, finally, right? And um, you have here, even though this is Sagittarius symbol, it's reminding me of Cupid's arrow. You know, this new moon energy, we just had the new moon in Taurus, which is fell, I think, in our fourth house of uh, family and home, I believe. Um... I posted that info uh, for you guys, I think, on, on Instagram. But um, it, it's talking about stability, reciprocity, equal give and receive, security, our worth, right? This new moon is about our worth. Prosperity, security, stability, equal give and receive. What is Aquarius surrendering to in May? A new cycle. The sun is here. Something to celebrate. Yeah, I feel like you're leaning more and more into, look at this. You're releasing the attachments to the outcome, to the results. Releasing the grip and moving more and more, uh, leaning into feeling more at peace. That's where the peace is going to come in from. Is that we're not looking at the time anymore. Uh, uh, the whens and the hows and the, you know, we're, we're just uh, enjoying being in the present moment. Trusting, holding our vision, trusting and having faith, taking one step at a time, following our intuition, right? And really allowing for divine timing, trusting, having more patience with the process, falling in love with the process. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. That's how we're getting to the goal is by releasing it, letting it go. The let go affirmations. I have a link on the community board is incredible. I still listen to it every night. Yeah, look at this miracles here coming in for you. Okay, the second that you release your attachments, which is Aquarius can do that very well, right? Um, when you shift your focus onto you, focusing on your own happiness, on your own life, on your immersing yourself in your purpose, you know, and... Um, Really focusing on, 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 on your present moment, on your home, your family, your friends, you know, your, your, your projects, your healing, your studies. The things that you love to do that brings you happiness, okay? With certainty and confidence that what you, whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're creating is already yours and is already manifested. And it's already happening for you. We're preparing for it, right? Law of attraction energy, of letting go of the energy completely. It's already manifested, okay? And then prepare yourself, open up to receive, okay? Because it's divine timing is at play here. I was telling my friend last night, she started laughing. I said, I have mastered patience so much. I, I have the patience of a saint. <laughs> she started laughing, <laughs> you know? It's like, I know that if something isn't manifesting right now, it's not ready. It's not time. The universe wants for us to be ready in every area of our lives for this is all preparation for this, this big new beginning here. But it's right here in the, well, I just said, I can't make this stuff up. I just said, let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. So if you guys are traveling this summer, if you're thinking about it, Right, if you're getting that pull, that's your intuition telling you, yes, it's supported and divinely guided and, and divinely protected. I'm also getting for some of you guys that are not traveling, you are soaring, you're ascending metaphorically. Okay, your life will be more full. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and, and strength. You know, there's something about being in the air, right? And like feeling light, feeling airy, feeling free, feeling flowy. Okay, Archangel Michael. Yeah, if you're being guided to take a course, lately I've been guided to take a course myself, you know, to increase your confidence regarding your purpose or every single thing that you're guided to read or look into or research or study is your guidance that's guiding you towards your purpose, what you're meant to be doing, okay? 
So, um, so that's really important to, to know that, that if you're being called to a certain book, it's, for, it's because you're going to, that, that book is playing a huge part in, uh, the next phase, the next step that's connected to your purpose, your soul's path and your journey. Yeah, look, embracing your purpose. That's what spirit wants you to do right now to put your focus on that. Some of you guys are already doing that. Okay. And, and in no time, I was talking to a client today about divine timing. You know how sometimes time is time, time is fluid. I mean, what is it? Energy is fluid and time is an illusion, right? So sometimes we're like, where did the time go? Or really like April went by so fast. Like that's because that's how the universe shows us that really time really is, you know, an illusion. All right. What else for Kinjo Michael for Aquarius collected from May? feeling a little pain but i am pushing through we have open up to your spiritual gifts that's what i feel may is going to be about for you there's a blessing coming in it's always when you least expect it not when you're attached to it because this attachment here the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen then let go of the results holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it oops this attachment here is sending a signal to the universe that you don't have it it's lack Okay, it's scarcity, and uh, and the universe is going to give you more of that. You got to let go of the energy and let the universe do its magic. Trust and have faith in in your prayers, in the universe, in your angels. Okay, um, so got to let go of the whatever outcome you expect because the universe loves to surprise us. I just recently received a huge curveball, a huge uh, plot twist in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, um, and it happened when I, you know, was, uh, doubling down on the let go affirmations, the heart opening Archangel Shamuel heart opening affirmations and root chakra. I felt myself let go and release more and more and more and stay open to whatever the universe wants to surprise me with the possibilities, the opportunities, and then something lifted a huge, uh, block that I had lifted during during this time frame it happened during uh the eclipse season and the retrograde and the full moon in scorpio uh, that's when it was amplified the work that i was doing and around that time i was freed from this being tied up weighed down with this, this block that i had and everything just started as if by magic the next day started coming to me and my manifestations you know and um and it's incredible, right? When you're in this energy of, it is what it is. I accept what it is. I let go of the timing. I let go of the manifestation. I hold my, is a huge difference between holding your vision with confidence, knowing that it's going to come in versus attaching to it, um, sending a signal out to the, obsessing about it, sending the signal out to the universe that you don't have it and lack, right? And lack that you got to live as if it's already here abundantly focusing on your own happiness on your own joy because you do have a blessing a major blessing this month you're you're probably going to go another level here in your spiritual gifts okay spirit wants you to focus that remember that your true nature is spiritual not physical so to balance out spirituality and practicality the angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth there's a huge blessing coming in as a matter of fact this came out this came out last night. It says magic here. And 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 wow, I'm so happy to see this here. Magic, blessings, transformation, a blessing in disguise is coming your way. Keep an open heart and mind. Yeah, there's a huge blessing in disguise coming in for you in May. Okay, it's you're gonna celebrate. You're gonna have something to celebrate, and you're gonna be so happy. Matter of fact, I want to write that down. And celebrate. Okay. I'm going to pull from this angel. From this angel. Uh, Archangel message. Wow. Look at the bottom of the deck. Beloved one. I am help Archangel Samuel. The same Archangel I'm always recommending for you guys to listen to. 
I posted that meditation, super powerful meditation. I posted that meditation on the community board. Um, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. A blessing in the skies here. All right, what else? We have here eight of pentacles, positive moving forward. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. Paying attention to the details, staying focused. This is the eight of pentacles. The patience card of mastering your spiritual gifts, mastering your purpose, mastering your craft, mastering yourself, being patient with the process, studying something new, learning something new. Inspiration here. Passion is going to be ignited for you in May. This is like heart and solar plexus energy. You're going to feel more, you know, more at peace here. This is like that Kundalini rising, Phoenix rising as well. I love this. Look, huge triumph here in May. Come on, chariot energy. Let's go. Success. Taking charge, right? Uh, movement. Huge movement here. Moving towards triumph. You're about to see that your hard work, your patience, all of that is paying off. Okay, you're about to see, you know, the results here of everything coming your way. Okay, there's a huge blessing. You, you're, you're about to be surprised. You're meant to be surprised. Um... You're meant to be surprised. I'm loving this. Claiming. <laughs> what else is the message in, for Aquarius for May? You're meant to be surprised, I heard spirits say. That's why, dear, it's not, I know Aquarius likes to know. You're probably watching every reading, some for some of you guys, hopefully not, because that's too much extremes, right? <laughs> not moderating, you know? It's good to watch readings to learn, and, you know, um, we're always learning from each other and things like that, and uh, for funsies even, but it's like too much of it can be, uh, can really take you away from your own discernment, your own intuition, but, you know, I know how much Aquarius likes to know. <laughs> I am an Aquarius. Uh, that's how I know that. Uh, but it's like, you're not meant to know this. So get, ex instead of like worrying or trying to figure it out, just get into that space of um, being excited for the surprise, right? It's like being patient and being excited, you know? Think about it when you were a kid, right? How you anticipated a uh, Christmas morning and you didn't know what was in those boxes, you know, um, those presents. And, uh, and it's like that butterfly feeling of, um, childlike feeling of play of like, I'm really excited for this new start. I'm excited for this new cycle. You know, um, things are finally, all the obstacles are being removed. Things are finally going in my favor. Luck is on my, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling light. I'm feeling blessed you know i'm feeling abundant um i'm feeling more energy i'm feeling happier this month i'm in more play energy and more positive. this is being positive as well and that's how when we're in this childlike energy sun uh fifth house leo when we're in this childlike energy that's when you know uh we get surprise <laughs> that's how i got i got super surprised family after i was freed from this uh from six years of suffering that I was, I was wrapped up. I think, I would think I was under some kind of a crazy spell or something. I, I, it came to me, it occurred to me. I'm like, was I under a fucking spell? Like, what the hell? You know, the trauma was so severe. It took me that long to heal. Finally, when I was freed from it, I was in this really light, happy energy. And then I got my, uh, you know, I got my gifts from the universe that I wasn't expecting. And it was, uh, quite the nice surprise so that's what i'm getting here for you guys yeah the unit destiny it's part of your destiny it's the wheel of fortune i can't make this stuff up you're on the wheel of luck the wheel of expansion good luck good fortune major change in every area of your life for some of you guys stay on this wow there's a rainbow look at this the foundation achievement stability is here as well yeah, you've been patient here. There's the divine timing card. I'm seeing this hourglass, even though um, this is the two of wands. That's that in between worlds, right? Crossroads energy. And it's like the, what I'm, what I'm noticing with the two of wands, well, I, what I just came to me right now is that, yes, we're setting intentions with two of wands. We're being asked to come out of our comfort zone, but there is something beautiful about just being in that void, you know, being in that, in the present moment and waiting and asking the, for the divine or whoever you pray to, you know, for the next step, right? 
and then praying for Archangel Michael to help you with the courage to take that neck. What's under that? Make a decision right here. The waiting game two of wands. Make a decision asking Archangel Michael. Look, it's when we're in play energy. It's when we're in play energy, right? You're being so protected right now. When Archangel Michael shows up, right? It says that you can, you're safe. You're beyond safe. You know this, you're already safe. But it's like when Archangel Michael is here, Archangel Michael is really protecting you. So you're going to, you know, uh, when the time comes here, right? Look, making your decision here, Matt energy, making your decision. Wow, look at that. We have the justice scales more than once. Making a decision from your heart, but making sure your heart is as light as a feather. That we're not making our decisions then when we're still carrying pain, bitterness, anger, resentment, any of that, right? That's why I'm recommending all nonstop number 33 here. 333 three, three, actually. Okay. I'm recommending nonstop for us together collectively to work with the Archangel Shamuel or do heart chakra meditations, right? So that the path here, the direction will be, again, third eye, the direction will be very clear. Um with your when your heart is as light as a feather right when your heart is and this childlike play energy leo rules the heart the sun is leo energy leo is a child the, the house of children so yeah i'm seeing the heart i'm seeing the feather and they're both um balanced okay so you're gonna there's a decision coming for you a choice uh, the divine guide, uh, accept divine guidance of Archangel Michael that's pointing you towards your own joy, the sun, you deserve it. So this making a decision that's in alignment with your divine, with your values, with the divine soul purpose, that's in a, that's going to put you in a place of happiness and peace and joy. And oftentimes it is a new direction is it's us coming out of our comfort zone, right? Um, making a decision here that's for the best and highest good of all. That's going to lead towards your heart's desires. So heart-based decision. All right. So destiny is at play. You're on the wheel of destiny at this time. What else for Aquarius here for uh, May? The Empress energy. Wow, how beautiful. This is this blossoming energy that I was telling you guys earlier. That whatever you're working on, whether it's a new relationship or a new project or idea, you're in this extremely beautiful energy of just blooming, blossoming, and growing still. Um, becoming whole here. Very fertile with ideas. Uh, you know, I can't help but notice her heart chakra. That's what I was telling you about, how important it is for us to work on the heart area, which is feminine energy. Heart is feminine energy. So the Empress is beautiful. It's Venus energy. Wow, solar plexus here as well, family. Okay, like the whole thing. The upper chakras, throat, third eye. We saw already the third eye. Throat, third eye, crown, heart, and 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 solar plexus here. All of it, okay, uh, is a focus for May. We have another three, 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 three. Okay, so you could be seeing angel number three, three, three. That's the ascended masters are with you, helping you, guiding you, protecting you. Also saying mind, body, soul, and spirit, wholeness. Mind, body, soul. Mind, body, spirit. Right, becoming whole, feeling whole. Take self-care energy here. The Empress is uh, the Divine Feminine. Beautiful, beautiful energy. The, the All four queens in one. The whole package here, okay? Um, somebody that is patient and nurturing and fertile. Creative. Abundance. So lots of abundance here. All right. So we have the Empress feeling really beautiful. This is Venus energy. So beauty, pleasure. Abundance, fertility, creativity, all of that is 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 here for you. Fem healing the feminine energy, mother healing as well. What else for Aquarius? For May. Oh my goodness. Ace of Cups. Some of you guys could be getting pregnant. So, you know, look at that triumphant success again. Triumphant success. So two aces here. We saw triumph earlier. We have one, one, eleven. Okay, new beginnings everywhere, a new start everywhere here, okay? Um, yeah, 
you are coming out of this period here of feeling defeated. Okay? It's like you have, you alchemized the energy, you took the energy back, you you surrendered. Okay? Surrendered here. Um so a brand new begin this is also self-love by the way. A psychic abilities being enhanced, intuition intuition is enhanced. This is you overflow of love within yourself. Okay? Um sharing the love out with the world, sharing your life, sharing your love, sharing your wisdom I got. A labor of love here, whatever you're creating in your life. The, the spirit said, yes, this idea, take action on this idea. This is a card of illumination, clarity, epiphany, aha moment and breakthrough, communication even. Like you're, you're very clear on your path. You're seeing things clear because we have worked on our sacral and heart chakra here. Heart chakra is swords swords is air air is heart chakra water element sacral chakra here a feminine energy of flow of um creativity as well uh intim intimacy relationships partnerships sexuality and sensuality the empress is extremely sensual very beautiful aquarius oh my goodness Look at this energy. Look at this energy. <laughs> wow. Give me this. What else do we have here for Aquarius? Yeah. Triumph and success. Moving forward. Having foresight. Turning our back. Another three. So many threes. Uh, three, 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 three. Like, I don't know how many th times we saw threes. Okay, so very big energy on that. Okay, um, the Ascendant Masters very strongly here with you. Um, I'm getting uh, Quan Yin here. Okay, I'm also getting um, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, uh, Master Jesus here, Buddha. Buddha's here as well, uh, helping you to release your attachments. Okay, so uh, trap movement. We're, we're, we're finally, again, the way forward is open, finally free with the, with the, it's like having determination and focus and willpower, right? To take charge of the energy and uh, overcome the obstacles. I saw a quote that said, um, a woman that went through so much pain is, is a warrior or something like that. So I'm getting this warrior warrior spirit warrior vibe i'm gonna you know do the love readings as well so look out for that what else for aquarius here spirit please for me we have justice in reverse wow triumphant success over this okay um we have an opportunity coming in for love Come looking right out, you right on the love begins. That ace of cups coming towards you. You def you remember we saw that conflict and defeat. You defeated, you defeated, okay? Um something here that was blocking you or trying to stop you or hold you back. The devil within you, external to you, negative thinking, self sabotage. It's different for everybody. This could be people outside of you as well. That was, um, that you, you know, this is a hard one, hard one battle here. Okay. It's like, remember I said earlier, I said, luck is on your side. You could have had a streak of things not going your way for a while. You know, uh, one challenge, one obstacle barrier after the other. It's like, uh, you stood up and you fought, you fought, you know, and it's like this period of feeling apathy, bored, discontent, unsatisfied, uh, disappointed with, uh, your options here. Uh, you're about to be surprised. Like I said, open yourself up to the surprise. We have justice in reverse right under, uh, uh um, the, the empress here, fertility, both Venus energy, both double Libra here. Okay. So. It's like this. It's like, I don't know why I got this energy for Aquarius. You know, when Aquarius can't count on anyone, we're like, we got this. We're, we're doing, we, 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 we got this. We'll do it ourselves. Right. Kind of energy is kind of like that. It's like you took whatever injustice 
whatever you know you experienced that was not fair and just and you took the cherry you took charge you took matters into your own hands and you used it to become the empress the divine feminine turn it into purpose right turn it into um something beautiful you created something beautiful from the injustice you know and it's like you restored the balance yourself in in the connection okay i want to clarify this in reverse it's like you have been treated very poorly maybe by your mother for some of you guys or a mother figure it doesn't have to be you know um or a libra right uh, you weren't balanced here the yin yang here is in reverse okay you've been working towards balance for a long time that's what we want balance stability we want fairness and just we want you know for things to be uh, done you know uh right right like code of conduct morals values and integrity and um tell me about this uh justice in reverse could have been something legally that you were bad you know that could be what you you know are receiving success from it's like divine timing is here for justice to be in your favor i'm also getting a decision has been made needing to make a decision right just look justice scales make a decision to reverse we have the justice scales three times we have a new romance to get clear with the universe on what you want you're ready you may not think you are, but you are. Uh, a new romantic cycle, justice scales here, justice scales here, and justice scales here three times. Again, with the three beautiful things happens in threes. Everything happens in threes. I just heard that. Or some things happens in threes. I don't know, family. Um, tell me here about justice. Clarify justice with the Empress here for Aquarius. A hard won battle here. Yeah, the sun. Things are the sun twice. Leo energy. You took matters into your own hands. You healed your heart. You healed your solar plexus. You recovered. You recovered. You restoring the balance in your own life. Also got clarity. Decision will be made. The decision will be made here. Okay. Uh, you have come into balance within you. We have here the heart. Solar plexus and the heart. The masculine and the feminine coming into balance. The yin and the yang. We have a beautiful, oh my God, Aquarius. Oh my God. Look at this. Everything is being made right. Look at this. Holy Moses. <laughs> make me sweat. Make me water. Make me lose. No way. Yeah, make me lose my breath, make me water, something like that. That song is coming to me with all this water energy and sun and happiness. Look at that. You have so much love, stability, security coming your way with somebody here that is a past life soulmate. This love, again, we could be talking about we have three twin flame cards here. With the Six of Cups, 11, 11 card here, Four of Wands, and the Lovers. Again, with the choice and decision here. Okay, you're moving towards some kind of uh, marriage or union or stability here with somebody here that is your perfect match. This person can ma can connect with you emotionally and, and offer emotional support to each other. There is an unspoken here. It feels like you guys have a very strong spiritual, soul-based, telepathic connection. Okay? And um, again, if you experience all of this injustice here, right? Things are being made right. A decision is made here, okay? Whether it's from you or your end or somebody's, somebody's end here, you're about to receive your manifestation. Good news coming your way um beautiful love we have a lot of water cancer scorpio pisces we have gemini leo here any of the fire signs um but yeah so you guys are both um a love like this this is a very pure and innocent love scorpio energy here they may have it in their chart um they this person could bring you a gift this this love is a gift okay um very beautiful uh, you know uh two people matching their frequency matching the vibration 
it's, it's like falling in love together at the same time, being uh, emotionally available, emotionally open with each other, allowing each other to be vulnerable inner child, inner children here, feeling safe with each other. Okay. This is a, this could be your, <laughs> your, this is this proposal, right? Romantic or business opportunity. There is a, 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 a very beautiful, special, unique and important soul based spiritual love here okay we started with that with archangel shamuel here is saying i am helping you with your spiritual soulmate connection here it is it's very past life you guys are ancient meaning you guys have known each other for a very long time you have many lifetimes together with this person um so hearts are opening people are falling in love people are exploring their romantic feelings they are allowing their heart and soul to sing with joy you know childlike energy here feeling happy feeling light this is the blessing in disguise that you don't see a decision is being made this is a triumph and success it was a hard battle here to get here there's the cup coming in aquarius wow Look at this. So much happiness. I wrote that down. You're meant to be surprised right now. You're about to be so... I, yeah. You're going to be so happy and have something to celebrate. This is reunions coming together. Celebrations. Okay. This is going to lead to marriage. This person loves you. You love them. It's mutual. It's reciprocal. I'm getting... Uh, there's no blocks here. Okay. In the energy. That's being removed. Okay. So be, stay open, keep working on your heart and your, and your solar plexus, keep giving yourself a lot of self-love because that's what's attracting this in. Oh, wow, what a beautiful, beautiful energy for May. Look at this. Beautiful, innocent, pure, sacred, divine love that's happening in divine timing here for you, right? Love begins. You deserve this. You are worthy of this. Okay, and if you don't feel that yet, keep doing the self-love uh, work. Keep coming into wholeness and balance within yourself here. Okay, it's a very healing connection. This person is gentle. It's a sweetheart. It's romantic. It's loving, compassionate. They may not be the best at expressing it verbally. This person is very sensitive, psychic, and intuitive, just like you. It could be a Minticon starseed. Healer energy. Um, but you can, you, you know, rely on your psychic abilities on your energy read that you're so good at your intuition here. Very two, two, two people, very intuitive. You have a very strong telepathic connection when you're apart, rely on that, that you, you can trust what, you know, what you see, this person will show you, this is a kind of person that will give you the forehead kisses and, 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 and cuddle you up and kiss your back when you're you know, laying down or kiss your forehead or move the hair out of your face to see your face and, you know, um, come up behind you when you're doing something and to just to give you a kiss. Uh, this is like very romantic, poetic, uh, may write you a song or, you know, uh, they're into the, all the mushy romantic stuff, this person, they're the deep feeling person. So they're very sensitive. You guys are finally meeting each other energetically, frequency-wise, um, on the same page here. Wow. Or if not, you're definitely getting there. What else for Aquarius Archangels? And then we'll wrap. How beautiful is this? This may be somebody you already know. But if you don't know this person already, um, this is a reconciliation from a past life. You, 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 it will feel like you've known them before. It'll feel familiar. It will feel comfortable. All right. What is the message for Aquarius for May? We have indigo and crystal children. Some of you guys have children that are sensitive. Okay. You guys may have children together actually here. I'm getting that as well for some of you guys. If, if that's God's plan for you, right? Um, they could have children, you could have children, but these, the children you have, or they have that, or you could work with children. Okay. doesn't have to be connected to this connection. Uh, you have a bond with children in particular. You can help children who are sensitive, sensitive, like you star seeds, light workers, uh, indigo crystal children, definitely research that very unique children that, uh, they, their parents don't know how to meet their remote 
emotional needs like you. Patience here. Okay, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience right here. Empress energy and divine timing, right? And then we have gifts from God. Uh, open up lots of gifts from God. Open up to, again, a surprise. A surprise coming in. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. And prosperity, Aquarius. <laughs> the Empress is extremely abundant right <laughs> it's good it's a beautiful energy this is a good time right here uh your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition your intuition is on point your into your gut feeling as well um you're going to be so happy aquarius I, this is probably the happiest i've seen you here uh, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition to manifest your dreams into your reality and be very, very, very patient with yourself right now. Open up to receive feminine ener energy of receiving, release the attachments. Okay. You have a bunch of miracles headed your way. This is one of the better, best readings I've done for you. May is going to be beautiful. I'm so excited for this energy. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Yeah. You're very sensitive as well at this time. Okay, ground your energy. Go spend time in nature if you're called to and guided to. Listen to your body. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environment. Also, family. Watch what you're consuming, what you're putting in your body, and what you're watching, and the people that you're around, right? you It's important because you're manifesting really powerfully. It's important that you maintain your vibration to the vibration of love and abundance and you hold your focus okay hold your vision and sometimes if we're around energies that are lower vibrational energies it can um you know do an aura cleanse do an empath cleanse if you can't help it but if you work outside your house or if some of your family members are still low vibing right there's only so much if you live with people that are just not on the, the journey as you are. Just uh, walk with your crystal, sage, ground your energy, call in Archangel Michael and do a cleanse on a regular basis. So you because you're manifesting really strongly right now. And again, listen to your body. Rest. Be very gentle because you're very sensitive. And when, the more sensitive we get, we become the more important it is for us to ground so we don't get psychic attacks. Right. And uh and absorb negative energy that's not our energy i'm gonna leave it right here wow wow i love this reading thank you so much for this beautiful energy thank you for liking sharing subscribing family and for donating and scheduling readings with me the information will be in the description box below i love you god bless you and namaste mm -hmm. till next time